Welcome back. By now you've read the beginning of the heart of Islam, which prepares us wonderfully for our discussion of the dimension of Iman. If you recall, the last sentence of the Hadith of Gabriel was that, quote, Gabriel came to teach you your religion, unquote. Now, the term religion in English comes from the Latin religio, which is related to the Latin ligare, as in ligament in English, which means to bind. So religion is that which binds us to heaven, that which ties us to God. And as you've read, the word for religion in Arabic is deen. Now Arabic doesn't write out short vowels, so deen is written the same way as dain or debt. Wheel of Fortune would never work in Arabic. Now what is the meaning of deen? If we think of its connection to debt, then religion is that what we owe to God. It's our response to the divine. And that's why Islam believes that human beings cannot be without religion, that we are defined by religion because our existence comes from God. We haven't created ourselves, and religion is the human response to God's act of giving us existence. By virtue of the fact that we exist, we must be religious. That is, we must give this dain, this debt, back to God. We cannot give back to God another being because we cannot create. So what can we give back to God? We can only give ourselves. And that, of course, is the basis of all religion. But Islam emphasizes that as being necessary by virtue of the reciprocity of having received our existence from God. And so Islam considers deen or religion to be in the very nature of creation. That is, Islam doesn't believe that any human beings have ever existed without religion. Human beings can fall out of religion, but they do not grow gradually in an evolutionary manner into religion. That itself is, of course, a very major difference with 19th century histories of religion which developed in the West. Islam, like traditional Jewish and Christian anthropology, believes that religion began with Adam. But remember that Adam, before he became the male, was the androgenic human being in Hebrew. The male Adam and female Eve were created simultaneously from that androgynous Adam when the rib was pulled out. So when we say Adam, it doesn't only mean the male, it means the human species. Adam represents all of us, male and female, over all of the continents from the point of view of the Abrahamic traditions. But the male Adam was also the first prophet. Prophecy, that is, the receiving of the correct message of the truth from God, begins with human history. But what happens is that human beings forget, and they need to be reminded again. So the whole of human history, from a religious point of view, is a constant recollection, constant reminding of what was there at the beginning. The Prophet of Islam said so much. He said, I came to bring nothing new, but to reassert what was there at the beginning. So we have revelation or prophecy beginning with human history. And al din has been there from the very, very beginning. Now, what was the content of this deen? What was inside it? What was it all about? Islam considers that its fundamental message was tawheed. Tawheed comes from the Arabic root wahida, which means to be one, alone, unique, unparalleled. From this root comes the word wahid, which in Arabic means one, which is also one of the names of God, al-wahid, the one. Obviously, you also have in the Torah that God is one. Another name for God in Arabic as the one is al-ahad, which refers to the oneness of the divine essence, which we'll be discussing very soon. These names are fundamental attributes of the divine reality. So the heart of religion is to remind us of that fundamental attribute of God's oneness. Everything else flows from that, from the Islamic point of view. 
the mercy, the love, the justice, the rule over the world, the creative power of God, the return of all things to God, the fact that God takes account of us, the fact that he sees and he hears, everything flows from his oneness. So according to Islam, the primordial message of the first religion and therefore of all religion was Tawheed, oneness. Next time, we'll discuss the two testimonies of faith that define being Muslim and particularize Islam as a religion.